So I'm just making this video just because I've found that a lot of people don't actually know about this topic, so I'm gonna start it off. So um, in the summer, this previous summer, I worked in the vineyard for um, my school, and that is where we assume that the tick came from, and I got bit, uh, was believed on Monday. And I started feeling really weak, and I had a really bad headache during the day, and I just thought, well, I worked really hard, and it was really hot that day, so maybe I was just a little bit dehydrated. And we did a lot of uh, bird netting, which required a lot of pulling and whatnot, so that's where I thought I got my soreness from. So the next day, I was feeling a little bit worse, um, so continued on throughout the day, and then about like six o'clock in the afternoon I started feeling really bad and I got a thermometer and I wasn't running a temperature but I just felt really weak and dizzy and had a really bad headache. Well I went home and I took my temperature and my temperature was 103 and I was so out of my mind that it was like I was intoxicated when I wasn't um, so I actually called somebody to come over and be with me. I thought I just had a cold or something and I fell asleep and they kept interchanging the rags on my head hoping it would help and they bought me some medicine for colds and I actually broke my fever in the middle of the night. My fever went from like 103 to like 98.7. I was like, I need to go to the doctor in the morning. I was just putting it off and so I wouldn't have to go to the emergency room. I just wanted to go to the doctor's. That's what I thought was wrong with me. It was just colder flu. So I walked in the doctor and um, they checked my heart rate and they checked my temperature and my temperature was still 103 and my heart rate was about 140, 150 somewhere in there and they um, did a urinalysis and they said that my white blood, blood count was up and I had blood in my urine and so they sent me to the emergency room just down the road just to get some blood work and they're like, you know, we'll just call you in a couple hours. So I go to the hospital and I get some blood work drawn and they told me it'd be two hours. Well, I came home and I fell asleep on my couch for about 30 minutes and I got a phone call from the doctor saying to go back to the hospital and to be admitted um, into the ER. So I went to the ER and immediately they hooked me up um, well, sorry, rewind. When I got to the ER, they took my blood pressure and my temperature, and my heart is about 1, 165, and my temperature was 104. So they hooked me up to a heart monitor, so an EKG, and um, put a lot of fluids in me to try to bring my temperature down. Um, they started by drawing about 10 vials of blood, and I got a spinal tap, and I got another urinalysis, and uh, a lot of very like wide range antibiotics that are very heavy duty through my IV and um, the spinal cap came back negative. The year analysis was just showing that I had um, an infection in my bloodstream. So no real knowing what um, was wrong with me but the first test that they did with my blood was they sent them off to be sent to be tested for um, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and for Lyme's disease. Then I also got asked, you know, if I did drugs or anything, and I don't do drugs at all. And um, they actually, a couple hours later, sent me to my room, so I had a private room, and um, another wide range of antibiotics. I was on antibiotics until I left the hospital. And I had really bad light sensitivity and I had to have all the lights turned off. I could only have the window open. Um, and that was because another building was blocking it, letting in only a minimum amount of light. Um, my stomach never hurt. I never really had any problems eating or anything. Um, and they just kept a constant watch on me and my fever would spike way up and my heart rate would go way up and then my headache would be really high, my blood pressure was off, and about every time I stood up I wanted to just fall over on the floor. Um, luckily I never did, but anyway, um, every couple of days uh, they finally got my um, heart rate and my blood pressure back 
to normal and my temperature eventually broke um, when I was on a high dose of doxycycline and some other um, tick related um, antibiotics and I eventually got better. Um, it did make me feel very sick to my stomach so I recommend Zofran if you have that issue. Um, here we are. This was two months ago as of well and six days from now so two months and six days I'm still I'm doing pretty good I um, still have occasional headaches and my body hurts really bad when it's about to rain but other than that I feel like you know I've gotten pretty far um, I found out after I was released from the hospital about seven days afterwards um, that I had Rocky Mountain spotted fever um, I got called from the state so they could record like things I've done and my symptoms and whatnot so since it is such a rare condition um, but I just wanted to make this video and kind of um, help those who maybe don't know about it or you know maybe going through this right now or maybe their loved one or friend or whoever is going through this so I hope this video is really helpful um, Oh, one thing I didn't mention is I never actually had a rash. So I had no rash, but after I was released from the hospital, I noticed I had like this little red mark right here. And I looked down and my forehead was so swollen right through here that we eventually came to the conclusion that I actually got bit right in this area. So anyway, so I guess a rash isn't like a predominant thing. It's not everybody gets it. Anyway, I hope this video helps you.